Okay, so some of you ask me what this is. This is actually the duplicator 9 by 1 how is a 3D printer. So this is the 300 model. So you can print 300mm by 300mm by 400mm, which is the height. Alright. I actually ordered the 400 by 400 by 400 about two months back. But because it is still under R&D, it wasn't ready to ship. So in the end, I had to switch to this one, which is the slightly lower end one. Um, yeah, so some of you also asked me what this is that I'm printing. So I was very ambitious. I decided to print this large piece of thing. But I, because I'm new uh, to using 3D printer, I didn't know that uh, you are, it will take such a long time. So I started printing this about probably around 36 hours ago and yes this this thing was left on for 36 hours about two and a half days now and uh, it is still printing um, and it is I think near half uh, it's about halfway done in printing out the thing that I wanted to print which is which is this thing over here right. The, the roundish thing at the side is actually uh, some kind of a support that uh, they printed so that it will stick better on the queen bed. Um, so what is that thing? So I actually so so I actually sat on the distance chair sometime back, without realizing that it's actually made of cheap board. So I cracked it and I told him once my printer come, I will print it out for him. And it seems like a, a fairly easy print because I'll show it to you. It's just a piece of wood, right? So, can you see the shape? Let me show you properly the shape. Yeah. So, this, this is the shape. It's a square shape with the corners cut out. And it's exactly the same shape that I have uh, printed out below uh, in, on the printer. But it's just that uh, this thickness is about 3.8 mm or something. And this thickness over here. It's nowhere near there. So what I'm probably gonna do is that um, the lesson learned here is that the the nozzle that um, I'll try and show it to you that squeezes out the filament after heating it up. Uh, can you see? It's a little pointed thing that is squeezing the filament out. So th that is actually 0.4 mm. So I realized now, a bit later, but I realized now that that is really too small. So I have ordered a slightly bigger one. In fact, I've ordered a 0.8 one, which is the largest size uh, this printer will support. And after I switch to that one, I will print out the other half of it. So I'm going to stop this about halfway through. And then I will continue and print out the other half when the other nozzle comes. Alright, so lesson number one. If you're printing big things, you need a big hole. Right, so you need to use a large nozzle. Alright, thank you for watching. Bye bye.